Dieu soit loué. It is such a blessing to see you safe and sound. This belongs to you. Bless you, whoever you are. You have our eternal gratitude. <clears throat> I believe you've met Monsieur Julien Raymond from distant Saint-Domingue. He's one of the most eminent members of our organization. And you, mademoiselle? What should we call you? My name is Aegis. Ah, yes. The Aegis. The mighty shield and scourge of Zeus. I wonder... Earlier, by the Pont Neuf, when you touched Monseigneur's ring, can you explain what happened? The ring called to me. It compelled me to reach out and take it. Come now. The ring called to me. Come now. The moment I touched it, I was transported. Somewhere else. It was the same strange world that you were in, Monseigneur. Hell, you mean? Or purgatory? I saw things there. I saw Monseigneur giving a sermon. What wickedness is this? This explains the moment when you froze. And this isn't the only time you've experienced something like this, n'est-ce pas? That is correct. It also happened with two objects I found in Place Dauphine. And what happened there? That is where I found your Bible and your cross, Monseigneur. How did you know they belonged to me? They demanded to be returned to you. You did not regain consciousness until I did so. This is madness! Let us not be so quick to judge, Monseigneur. I witnessed the moment when your cross was taken from you. Then I saw you being locked in that box. Et bien voilà. It is just as I suspected. Here, Aegis, look at this. Over the course of my research, I unearthed this ancient document. I believe I have finally uncovered its meaning. It's a triangle with an identical inscription in each corner. Nimi, memory in ancient Greek. Then in the center, there is an open eye which symbolizes awakening. Do you understand? The images you saw, Aegis, were Monseigneur de la Farre's own memories. Three echoes of the past tied to personal objects of his. Three Nimi's memories which some dark alchemy had taken from him. Without them, his mind would have remained lost, incomplete. He would never have regained consciousness. But by returning these three objects to him, Aegis, you were able to save his immortal soul. Tell me, Aegis, when you were at the clerk's office at the Châtelet, did you perhaps see a leather wallet near the abbot's documents? No, Monseigneur. Ah, that is unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Monsieur Raymond, what is the aim of this organization? We publish articles and exert our influence on those who are in a position to improve the lot of our unfortunate brethren. Our numbers grow by the day, and we have many illustrious members, such as the Comte de Mirabeau and the Marquis de Lafayette. But it was Monsieur Brissot and the Abbot that founded the group. Good old Brissot. Shouldn't he be here by now? Yes, mon père. He should have arrived hours ago. Alas, there has been no sign of him. I hope to God that no misfortune has befallen him. What fate does the kingdom reserve for those with black skin? According to tradition, any enslaved person who sets foot on French soil is freed. This rule is most problematic in the eyes of planters in the colonies, who would seek to maintain their precious labor force. This is why, for the past 12 years, no black people have been allowed to disembark in any of the kingdom's ports. Those who accompany their masters on the journey are imprisoned in the Admiralty's jails the moment they leave the ship. As for those who manage to evade the authorities, they live in fear of the raids carried out by the Marshalsea. 
Are you not subject to these laws, Monsieur Raymond? I am fortunate enough to have been born a subject of the king through my father, and also to have received an education, and to be wealthy. Naturally, that makes all the difference. You are quite a long way from home, Monsieur Raymond. I haven't been back to Saint-Domingue in nearly five years. I left my most trusted men in charge of overseeing my indigo plantation. I came to France with the aim of having an audience with the king. I hoped to convince him to use his automats for agricultural work. I was of the belief that this was the best way to ease the suffering of our enslaved brethren. Alas, it was all for naught. I was only able to get an audience with the Minister of the Navy, and even that was granted reluctantly. Later, when the King convened the Estates General, my hopes were renewed. I saw it as an opportunity to make our voices heard. And then, mon Dieu, what a disaster, Aegis. What a complete disaster. You are quite a long way from- I haven't been back- I, I, I was- Alas, it was late and then- mon Monseigneur, that other world where you were held prisoner, do you still feel its effects? This other world, as you call it, Igis, is none other than hell itself, Gehenna, the place the Lord sends those who worship the beast. But hell didn't keep me. Has God given me a chance to redeem myself, perhaps? What task did you entrust to the abbot? The Holy Office ordered me to keep an eye on the Comte de Cagliostro. This charlatan imagines himself to be the heir of Mesmer, the magnetizer, and seems to have ingratiated himself with the king. There have been disturbing reports about him that could lead to his excommunication. It is said that he can make the dead speak. Can you imagine? I asked the abbot to investigate the surroundings of Eugène de Vaucanson's workshop, where the Count had been seen coming and going for several weeks. I cannot disclose the details of what he discovered there, but it may well be related to the events that have plunged Paris into mourning. What task did you entrust to the Holy this there I, I can I bid you farewell, Monseigneur. Wait just a moment, s'il vous plaît. You are one of Cagliostro's creatures, are you not? What do you mean? When were you... When did you... awaken? I do not understand, Monseigneur. Well, well, that is to say, you talk, you think, you seem to act with some sort of free will. This was not always the case, that much is clear. You must agree that not all automates are as sophisticated as yourself. I am attempting to unravel the mystery of your true nature. Tell me, what are your very first memories? That is a question I am unable to answer. How strange. In that case, you must surely be able to tell me who taught you what you know. What I know, Monseigneur? Hmm. How can I put it in a way that you'll understand? For example, you call me Monseigneur. How do you know that this is how one addresses a member of the clergy of my rank? I cannot explain it. I believe... Go on, Aegis. I believe that this knowledge is not mine. Well, I never. Did you hear that, Abbot? I caught every word, mon ami.
Monsieur Lavoisier hopes to have Eugène de Vaucanson released from prison. I must find him and help him convince the Comte de Provence.